Cheers. I'm gonna be opening these three bad boys today, so buckle up. Happy freaking Friday, everybody. I have got my hard Mountain Dew and I am ready to open these three boxes. As you can see, I have been behind on opening any bookish box boxes. So I'm gonna just open them up all at once here in today's video and try to do a bit of a rapid fire. Yeah, so let's get started. All right, we're gonna start with the biggest box first. This box came in May, but I'm not sure what month it actually is. So I'm opening the box from March, 2022. Okay, and the theme for this month is bookish baddies. Ooh, I'm very excited for that, bookish baddies. So the first thing I had to kind of pull out is, um, I don't know what this is. Crickets. Um, I'm not sure what it is, but it's cool. It's metal. Let me look into it. Ooh, a book display. Okay, it's a book display. This stunning book display stand designed by at Sarah underscore Rebtine. I don't know. Is an item we have never included in our boxes or shop. Use this stand to display your favorite book that features your most beloved morally gray character. Retail value is $35 is actually really cool. I think that's really neat. It's compact. It's got these really cool designs on it. It feels really high quality. That is so cool. That is the perfect thing to add to my bookshelf. Love this. All right, next we have one of those metal bookmark things. Here it is. It's really hard to show these on camera. These are really neat, but they're never my favorite because I feel like I'm going to break them. You know what I mean? I I don't know. The next dagger in our exclusive favorite fictional dagger and swords metal bookmark collection designed by at Cass Berry. This month we featured Wrath's Dagger from the Kingdom of the Wicked series. Retail value $15. Alright, so our piece of jewelry this month is a rose gold. It looks like a raven. Of course, I'll be including some shots as I go along. This was designed by at Bookish Pinup and it is inspired by Kingdom of Runes by Audrey Gray. Um, yeah, and this retail value is $12. It's pretty cute. I don't usually wear rose gold, but... Alright. There's something in here. I'm not sure what this is. I think this is a jewelry hook. Hold on. Oh. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. It's a snake, obviously. It says, King of the Underworld, Hades-inspired with some Persephone details added to it, completes this stunning serpent jewelry hook. At Justine Bookish designed this to keep your necklace and bracelets tangle free and on display. Retail value, $18. The retail value is new, I wanna say, to these booklets. It's kind of interesting to like know how much these would retail for, allegedly. You definitely have to screw this into your wall, so there's that. What is this? I thought something was gonna be in here. It's literally just package fluff. I don't know why they sent this giant box if half of it was fluff. I was disappointed. I thought there's going to be like a blanket or something. Last but not least, the candle, which is honestly my favorite part of the bookish boxes. They changed up their candles a little bit and now they have a metal lid compared to their old ones, which looked like this. It's a little shorter. I don't know if we get less product, but yeah, they just look different now. I'm really excited. This one is the Aries. So they've been doing Zodiac inspired candles this year, which love it. And March is gonna be Aries and I'm an Aries. So I've been really excited for this candle. The third candle in our new Luminary Zodiac candle collection. This Aries candle label has artwork by at Avondel Art featuring Alo Alosa Callaghan? Callaghan? Alosa? How do you say that? I don't know. Featuring Alosa Callaghan from Daughter of the Pirate King. Enjoy scents of blood orange and brown sugar. Retail value $16. All right, I haven't smelled it yet, but blood orange, I typically like, and brown sugar. I love a sweet tooth. I hope I really like this. 
it's I mean, it's faint. I don't I don't get a big scent from it, and it's not a woodwick. That's different. I feel like was this one a woodwick? No, oh, the Pisces one wasn't either. Okay. I know they do a lot of woodwick candles, but maybe the Zodiac series isn't going to have woodwicks. I smell a lot of the orange, but I'm not getting a lot of brown sugar. It smells faint. I don't know if, um, this one was faint too. Hmm. It's not as strong scented as some of their previous candles. I don't know if when they changed up the look of the candle, they've changed how the candles are being made. I'm not sure, but it just doesn't smell as strong as usual. But it does smell good. Does it smell like an Aries? I don't know, guys. All right, and now on to the book for the first box. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, only a monster. Guys, <laughs> I got this book. It's up here, you can't see it. I got this book in an owl crate. Oh, a while ago. I wanna say I got it in like February's owl crate or something like that. I have two copies of this book now. But this one has sprayed edges. Ooh. You know what we can do? We can do a little comparison, a little side-by-side -side of Bookish Box versus Owl Crate. Might be a little fun. Might be a little fun thing to do. Here's the signature. Oh, it's so pretty. These dark purple sprayed edges. Wow. Doesn't have a book smell. Mm -mm, no smell. Now for the fun part. Let's see if there's sprayed edges. Or let's see if there's a foiled cover. Okay, that's really pretty. You can't say that that's not just stunning. That's gorgeous. There's nothing on the back, just the front, but that's really pretty. Ooh, and then the, okay. That's really, really pretty. Woo, damn, that's stunning. I think the retail value of this is $37. This edition includes an exclusive cover, sprayed edges, signed by the author. The reverse dust jacket art is by at catcat.to. Custom end papers and the exclusive foiled hardcover stamp is also by the same artist. This is really, really pretty. Okay, I like to put the original cover of the book on the screen next to the new cover. All right, and by the way, guys, this is the Owl Crate edition. So side by side, you can get a little bit of a difference here. I remember really liking the like teal and red in this version, and this one has black sprayed edges while this one has the purple. They're both really stunning. I really don't need both. <laughs> this one had this foil design on it. And it did have, oh yeah, I remember the the reversible dust jacket on the Owl Cray is also really, really pretty. So I would say for these two books, I would say these two books are very comparable from the two different book subscriptions. Very comparable. That wraps up box number one. My favorite thing from that box, by the way, I think is the book stand. I thought that that was just really cool and something I will get a lot of use out of. Next up is this little guy. I'm assuming this is going to be April's. Ooh, here's a sneak peek card. That's really, really pretty. All right, I'm not finding a little info booklet in this box. Maybe I'll come across it eventually, but I'm not currently seeing an information booklet. Let's open this first. You guys, oh my gosh. I've seen this on their Instagram and I've tried not to look because I didn't want to be spoiled, but my God, it is a tin book, as you can tell. Oh, there we go. And it's Throne of Glass. This is honestly stunning. This illustration of Selena is just stunning. And the back of it says, you could rattle the stars, you could do anything, if only you dared. I'm obsessed with this. This is, oh, this is so pretty. This is very, very pretty. I love that. Oh, our jewelry item is a bracelet. It says, inspired by Beasts of Prey by Ayana Gray. I think that's how you say that. Greater jungle inspired bangle. Magic is a peculiar thing. 
as are the things it touches. This is very delicate, actually. That's really cute. I do like that. I like how delicate it is. Oh, we get a From Blood and Ash playing card deck. Nice. I'm actually getting some references to books I've read. Very exciting for me. These are pretty cool. Yeah, I'm going to definitely have to put inserts, but there's metallic details to them. The characters look maybe a tiny bit like CGI created, I guess. I don't know. If I had the little booklet, I would be able to tell you if an artist designed all these and who that would have been. But let's just show you like Hawk. They're pretty cool. Like and there's so many characters here. There's so many. This is really cool. This is really fun. That's three items. So this is number four. The candle. It's the Gemini. Did we skip Taurus? I'm a little confused. Character art by at Avondel Art, by the way. I'm a little confused right now. Oh, this one smells a lot stronger than the previous box did. However, I'm not sure what it is. Hand poured by the bookish shop, the Gemini. I really wish I had the booklet because I don't know what characters are on that candle. I will try my best to insert it when I do some shots, but uh, I don't know guys. All right, we have another one of these metal bookmarks. This one came in a sleeve. Again, I don't know where this one's from, but it's another dagger bookmark, you know. They all look very similar, <laughs> in my opinion. You know, maybe this was May's box. I think that bookish box actually had, I, one of their boxes came in way later, and I think one month, like I think May may have been shipped out before April's, like something got really backed up. Anyway, so I think this arrived before April's, because I'm pretty sure this is May's box, and I'm guessing that because the sneak peek is for June's box. So I think that this was May. Oh, also the Gemini candle because we completely skipped Taurus. So I'm going to say that this is May's box. <laughs> so we're going a little bit backwards here, but yeah. Let's see what the book is. Together we burn. Mine got a little bit damaged in shipping, which is just kind of sad. But this is really pretty. Did I get this? You guys, I did just get this book in my owl crate. I did an owl crate like ASMR kind of unboxing for I think I don't know what month that was I really don't uh, might may have been June but I also have this book in owl crate edition so we get to compare the two as well the covers are very different for both of them too I looked at this and I didn't realize right away that I already have this book because this is the owl crate cover so there's a comparison of those picture of the original cover so that we can do a little bit of a comparison I think I prefer this cover more. End papers. Oh, well, well. Oh my god, what is this? There's our signature, by the way, but. What is it? I don't know what this is. It was just slipped in there. Oh, I think I, I've heard of these before, but I don't remember what they're called. I almost don't want to unwrap it. This is really, really pretty. Wow. I wish I had that damn booklet. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, look at this. That is really stunning. I like that it's white, this creamy white. Oh, and on the back is a dragon. Together We Burn by Isabel Ibanez. I haven't taken Spanish in a long time, guys. A long time, and I was never good at it. I really like this. On the back it says, no fire, no heart. Mm, has a good book smell. This just feels really nice. It's one of those books that feels good to open. Oh, wow. Okay. Look at this. Look at that dragon. Wow. That's really pretty. The Owl Crate book, Bear book, was black. And it was very pretty. But I think I kind of like the white one more. I just, you don't see a lot of white hardback books. So I really like that. All right, that wraps up box number two, May's Owl Crate, I th or May's Bookish Box, I think. My favorite thing out of that box was definitely the Throne of Glass tin. I love it, love it. Can't say enough about it. One more box to go. We'll see what month it is. 
praying I get a booklet. We got a booklet this time. April 2022. Here we go. Secret Cloaked in Shadow. That is the theme this month. And there's a picture from um, Once Upon a Broken Heart. All right, let's start with the bookmark weapon. Oh my God, it's red. <laughs> I was shocked to see that. Wow, okay. Ooh, From Blood and Ash is what it says. That's cool. I like how this one has the like, I don't know if you can tell. I like how it has the swirls going around the knife or the dagger. This is designed by at Casaberry. This month we featured Poppy's dagger from the Blood and Ash series. Please remember to leave these at home when traveling. TSA may seem see them as dangerous. Fifteen dollar value. That's a good point. I don't think this would make it through an airport, and they will take this from you. I like this one actually. I like it more than the silver ones. Oh, okay. We have a necklace. I feel like we've had one similar to this before in the past with the kind of um, arched window shape, I guess. But this one is gold. At Pinup Bookish designed this necklace with Mexican Gothic by Silvia Moreno Garcia in mind. Let's do the candle next, the Taurus candle. The fourth candle in our new Luminary Zodiac candle collection. This Taurus candle label has artwork by at Avondell Art featuring Evangeline from Once Upon a Broken Heart. Enjoy scents of patchouli, cashmere rose, and sandalwood. Retail value $16. Y'all, patchouli, cashmere rose, and sandalwood are some of my top favorite scents of all time. Patchouli, love it. Rose, anything rose, love it. Sandalwood, need I say more? I really love the character art on this as well. I love Evangeline. I truly, really like that book. I liked Evangeline a lot, so I'm really excited. Mm, yeah, that's good. Oh, it is honestly perfect for Evangeline. This is how I imagine she would smell like. It's feminine. You really get that rose. I think the sandalwood is probably the thing you'd smell first, followed right behind by the rose, and then the patchouli is just in there a bit, if I were to say. I'm not a connoisseur of candles, but I just really like my scents. All right, now we've got this weird thing. Oh, it's a print album. I, I pulled it out. I was like, what is this? Okay. Twilight. Twilight by Stephanie Meyer. This is really pretty. That's cute. I kind of wish it was silver and not gold. I don't know about you guys, but when I think about Twilight, I get cool tones and silvers in my head. Not a lot of gold, but regardless, I really like it. And it's just a place where you can put your prints, so... The Twilight print book was designed by at Justine Bookish to keep all your 5x7 prints in pristine condition. It holds up to 60 prints with ease. All right, last item, a lined notebook inspired by Gallant. All right. Ooh, this is really pretty. I love that. It says home is a choice. It's a quote by V.E. Schwab. This is really pretty. It's bright cobalt blue. You can barely tell on camera, but that is super bright blue. This journal was designed by at KDP Letters. The blue foiling truly stands out on the cream colored faux leather cover, and we are here for it. This journal is perfect to jot down notes on your latest read or journal about your day. Retail value $18. I just really like this. This is really cute. Really slim. I like that a lot. All right, finally we're on to the last book. We are getting there. Whew, I'm sweating. Oh, guys, I'm feeling it. There's no dust jacket. It's a smooth cover. Mm -hmm. I really like books like that. I do, I really do. I'm nervous. Oh my God, oh my God. Wow, wow. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. This is Gallant by V.E. Schwab, which has been on my list of books to buy. So I'm glad I don't have to go buy it because now I own a copy. Look at those orange edges. This is so bright and so much fun. And papers. Wow. They're stunning as well. Dang. There's a note from the author directly in the book. That's really nice. Oh my gosh. And look. An additional illustration wow the vibes of this book though I am very excited about 
looks very witchy. And look at the back. Woo, spooky. I love it. I hope there's a haunted house in this book because I'm seeing it on the cover. It's so shiny and it feels good. I really love books without the dust jacket. I almost prefer my books to be like this. I think that's stunning. Wow. Wow, I really, really like this. I love the illustration style too. That's just stunning. Oh my goodness. Favorite thing in April's box is definitely the book. So yeah, that's it guys. Damn, I'm sweating. I hope you enjoyed this video. By the way, I never introduced myself. So if you're still here, hey, my name is Melody. I hope you liked this video and consider subscribing if you feel so inclined and then you can see me again sometime. Uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys. Bye.